Hey friends, let's talk about joy. I have my rainbow dash, my little pony mug here filled with a nice warm chai latte. And I just wanted to sit down and talk about it because I feel like 2020 has been this serious dumpster fire for so many reasons. Um, personally, I have plenty of reasons to just not be filled with joy this year starting with my dad passing away unexpectedly, to our business having to be shut down because of COVID, like the list goes on and on. It's really easy to get swept up and bogged down with all of the shit that's been happening. And lately I've been saying no. I've been saying I'm not going to let these outside terrible things affect the joy within. So I wanted to film this video and talk about 10 things that bring me complete and utter joy. And I would love it, love it if you guys went into the comments and wrote 10 things that brought you joy. They can be silly. You'll see that these are not life-changing, amazing things. They're just small, simple, little pleasures that bring me so much joy. And I'm gonna make a point of focusing on these. I'm not going to let myself get swept up in the misery that is 2020 and a lot of people around me and probably you. There's just so much negativity and unnecessary tension regarding so many different things that I'm, I'm focusing on joy and I hope that you will too or that this video inspires you to take the moment to reflect and look for joy in your life. So let's dive into my 10 things that have been bringing me serious joy. Number one, baking desserts. There is just something about being in the kitchen, probably just doused in flour because I cannot scoop flour out without most of it being on me, but having this finished product and feeling the sense of contentment that I've created something and it's delicious. It brings me so much joy and it's the type of thing that I can give to other people around me and spread that joy. And that just makes it better. It just makes you feel so good to eat that cookie that is just so warm and fresh from the oven. And I just wish there was more appreciation of those, those little moments of warm, chocolatey goodness. Another thing I've been loving doing for months now is playing Animal Crossing. And I know it's silly. Like we, we all know that it's just a silly game with silly little animals who are very lazy and you are just running around basically doing chores on an imaginary island. But there's something so soothing and calming and routine about it. And with so much things just up in the air and the routines are out the window, it's nice to have this, to have that little, those little moments where you're just digging for fossils and it just brings me so much joy and it also has connected me and kept me in contact with a lot of my friends that i probably would have not been able to stay in touch with for various reasons or whatever i find that i talk to them so much more even still months after getting the game and that's pretty magical number three my third thing that's been bringing me a lot of joy lately is going to the store buying a bunch of junk food, coming home, snuggling up, and watching a movie. Thankfully, Netflix and Hulu are releasing movies still, but I just love the special trip to a grocery store to get a, something sweet, something chocolatey, something salty, come home, get yourself a stomach ache because you ate too much Swedish fish, and just watch a silly movie or a serious movie. It's just... I've been doing that since I've been able to drive and it's one of my favorite pastimes. It just takes something kind of routine, like a regular evening watching a movie and then adds something a little bit special to it. The fourth thing that brings me serious joy is taking naps. I love naps. I was always that kindergartner who loved naps. I still do. And there's just something about like midday, just curling up in bed, closing the blinds, and just taking an hour, just taking an hour to sleep. And I also find that some of my best ideas come right before I fall asleep. So I have a notepad there. I write down these brilliant ideas, or at least what I think are brilliant. Wake up and be like, damn, Kayla, that was a great brainstorming session. You should do it again tomorrow. Number five is shopping for new plants. I'll actually make a day of it. 
Lately, I've been like, today is plant shopping day, and I will go to my favorite nurseries or try a new place that I've heard has good plants and spend absurd amount of time picking the perfect plants. And I always come home with more than I need, but it's just bringing me joy. Having greenery in my house has always brought me so much joy. And if it happens to become a jungle, so be it. Another thing that brings me a lot of joy, and it's actually work related, is taking product photos. It's something that I've been doing for a few years now, and I've always had a knack for it. And things that you have a knack for, you just naturally enjoy doing more because obviously it's easier for you. But there's something so satisfying about laying out products or things we worked for with clients and capturing it in a beautiful, well laid out photo that brings me so much joy and being able to share those with the clients or post them online or use them in my blog and having somewhere to like put them just makes it so much more satisfying and it's something that if I'm just having an off day I'll just grab my camera go over to my little desk section over there and just take photos they don't have to be good but they just are fun you know this next one is new I recently discovered it and pretty much obsessed and any opportunity I can do it, I will. It's using my wax seal, like to the point that I've considered putting it on my mortgage payments. Like, would they enjoy it? Probably. Oh, Wells Fargo Bank, let me see this mortgage payment. Oh, there's a wax seal. How cool, let's give her her house for free. That shit doesn't happen. But I just like to think that it adds such a level of just cuteness to a letter and there's just something about that hot wax and then you just press your seal into it and it pulls off and there's this beautiful bee or whatever is on your wax seal and it's just so satisfying. I am like a child, a gleeful little child who probably shouldn't be playing with fire, but just so excited every time I do it, every single time. There hasn't been a time, I've probably done a hundred wax seals at this point. There hasn't been a time that I haven't gone after I pull off the wax seal. I'm the Pillsbury Doughboy of wax seals. This next one I'm pretty sure you guys will relate to. I take so much joy in creating a list, but not necessarily finishing that list. It's more about the process of creating the list and I'm like, ah, oh, so satisfying, so good. And then I just move on with my life. Like I don't need to feel like that completionist, like I finished that list, ooh, that brings me joy. The list making process itself is what brings me the most joy. Another thing I've discovered in quarantine that I think officially makes me part of the grandma club is that I enjoy watching birds outside my window. Like I actually have a bird guidebook and I look at it while looking at my birds at my bird feeders and be like, oh, you're totally a house finch. And then I actually mark it <laughs> because girl loves to document. I mark which birds I see outside my window or if I see out into the world. And there, there's so much simple joy in putting some bird seed out and having birds come to it. and. I feel silly and I have been feeling silly when I talk about it to friends, but also like, screw that. Be excited about stuff, even if it's silly or you think other people will find it silly. If it brings you joy and happiness, then there's nothing silly about it. I'm not even sure what number we are on now. So I'm just gonna keep going. There might be more than 10. So whenever you wake up, you know, you're like, wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I'm awake. You do a couple of things, maybe like watch a TV show or like check your phone or whatever. And then you fall back to sleep. Second sleeps. There's just something magical about second sleeps. I don't know if it's the same for you, but when Alex and I like roll over and snuggle and fall back asleep for the second time, it's the most glorious sleep of my life and I crave it. And we only really do it on the weekends, but second sleeps are like religion in this house. So I think that was 10, but there's still one more I wanna talk about. Buying new products for the store, like going through catalogs and finding new vendors or local artists brings me so much excitement and happiness and ultimately just copious amounts of joy. And I think it's because I can also spread that joy with other people. And there's just something about joy that you can spread like peanut butter and share with the world that makes it so much more satisfying. Because when I'm getting things or looking at products, 
I know that it brings me joy, but the idea that there's someone that's going to come into that store or go online and see a dinosaur mug or a planter or a candle that speaks to them and they're like, oh my God, that's so Sarah. I cannot, I have to get it for her. That is just so connecting. I just feel like it's bringing all of us back together in a way that is just so, so lovely. And I, I think we need more of that. So buying products for the store has always brought me a lot of joy and excitement. The price tag, however, not so much, but knowing that these items could brighten someone else's day just makes it that much better. So there you go, 10, 11, things that have been bringing me tons of joy lately. And they're silly, like I said, they don't have to be profound. It doesn't have to be this amazingly selfless thing you do. It just has to bring you joy because if you have joy, it's easier to give other people joy and share that joy. And I would love to know what's bringing you joy. So if you want to put a couple things in the comments, that would be awesome to hear what has been brightening your days lately. I would just love to hear it. And I hope you guys liked this video. I know it's a bit different, but I also think it's kind of important. And there's gonna be those people who downvote it. And you know what, that's your prerogative. But also, that's not bringing anyone joy. What you doing with that downvote? Like, come on. So I hope this video brightened your day a little bit. And I hope that you take time to reflect on things that are making you happy and bringing you joy right now. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.